Hello. So you're gonna watch my very first, very first reading for, um, I'm not sure who yet, cause we're gonna pick. I'm gonna let Spirit pick with, um, cause I have, I'm gonna use five different decks. I have the Zodiac deck. Um, I have, I'm gonna use the Rider Waite, uh, Crystal Visions, um, the Romance Angels, and then I also use uh, the Doreen Virtues, uh, called, which deck is this? Hang on a second. Archangel. Um, so yes, I'm going to use those five decks. How My reading is a little bit different, and um, it's a general reading. Um, it could resonate with um, your sun, moon, or rising sign. I noticed a lot of times, honestly, if I'm talking about a couple, if when I go, if you're resonating or what I'm saying is resonating with a rising sign, usually the person that you're dealing with, their rising sign would match. Who, not their sun sign, but their, that's one thing that I've noticed and I've been in, in with my own readings that I have noticed that I have or that I've seen, like when, like say my ex, they talk about an Aquarius. Him and I are both air signs. I'm a Libra rising, he's an Aquarius rising. So, um, and his moon sign is a Pisces, my moon sign's Cap. Um, his sun sign is Scorpio, mine is Aries. So he's a double water and an air. I'm earth, fire, water, or earth, fire, air, sorry. But I've noticed that my, my air sign, when it comes to how others see me, how I present myself, is very Libraic. Like, I really like things fair and just, and I don't like um, things not to be balanced. I think that that's just a part, that's just who I am. I, if one's good for one, it should be good for everybody. That's just kind of my opinion. So, either way, yeah, those are the decks that I'm using. Um, I also have the Vice Versa deck, but I won't be using that one today. Um, I'm still getting acquainted with it, um, as, as well as I have um, the Shadowscapes Tarot, which is a beautiful deck. But um, I'm still getting acquainted with that one as well. I love my... I, these are the decks that I mostly use, just because they're phenomenal and they really resonate with my energy. So, um, let's get started. Um, I did a few readings last night, you know, just, you know, to try it out. See, it was crazy, you know, and these readings were going, I don't want to make them more than like 25 minutes to a half an hour, but they've been going 35, 45 minutes. So please just stay with me. Um, and you know, just enjoy. This is a general reading, so it's probably not gonna resonate with everybody, but let's see who we are actually gonna pull for. Um, I'm gonna try and get set up here. Sorry about that. There we go. Okay. Um, and I'm gonna put something across my lap. I don't want to be distracting anybody. Alrighty. Okay, so who shall I pick for? Spirit, I ask that you bring the angels, my spirit guides, my ancestors, and your divine presence to come. And just uh, show me who you want a message for. What sign would you like me to give a message for? Okay. 
cancer. How oh, nice. All right, Cancerians. See, got yours. All right, the next thing that I'll do is I'm going to pull, um, yeah, we just had a huge trine. Got some cancer stuff going on here. Moons. Now I'm going to pull what planet is going to help you get through the month of June from now until June 30th, 2018, Cancer, Sun, interesting, because the sun sign will be coming into your sign at the end of June, neat, hmm, okay, now, Here, right over here. Get out my old reliable right away. Okay, Spirit, I need a nine card spread. Three for past, three for for present, three for future. There's one. I'm gonna do all past energy. All past energy. One more for passing. Oh. Eight of Pentacles. Okay. <clears throat> Full flipped up. That's present energy. Okay. Whoop. Knight of Cups. Moon reversed. High Priestess. Four of Wands reversed. Strength in the outcome. Overall energy is temperance. That flipped up and I couldn't use it. So I'm not going to. The bottom of the deck is the Emperor. So that also stands for Aries. And then we have Temperance as bookends here. So I'm just going to kind of. Maybe I'll toss these over here. Temperance and the Emperor. And then what element? Spirit. Is going to help our Cancerians, our little lobsters. Look at this. It's so gorgeous. Just love the artwork in these zodiac ones. Freaking amazing. What element is going to help them become their best self and help them really hone in on the energy for? from now until the end of June 2018. Gotta ground yourself in this. So Earth, put that right up there, right around all these. Hmm. Okay, now, since these are our, can you see this okay guys? Um, since these are our main energies going on here, um, I'm going to pull three romance angels in the romance angel deck. One for past, one for present, one for future energy. Maybe kind of, oh, there we go. Passion. For the past, separation for the present, and one more for future. Louis. 
one more spirit for the future energy for our Cancerians for June of 2018. I have gotten this card for every every single one of who I've been reading for so far. Everybody's calling in their soulmate. Interesting. Okay. Now, let me look at this spread here. Oh. Got a lot of major arcanas going on here. You have two over here that were bookends that flipped over at the top and then the Emperor was at the bottom so you could be dealing with a Sagittarius and or an Aries hmm past energy so what I'm getting here there was a lot of passion Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. That's what you were doing in your past position. Like there was a lot of passion that you have, you had either with um, a job or in a relationship. And the thing is, is when it came to your path, you couldn't make up your mind. You have the two of wands in reverse. So you, you kind of were standing there a little bit stuck for a while and you couldn't make up your mind whether it was you had two people to choose from and or two job opportunities to choose from and you know you couldn't figure out which one you were more passionate about. You couldn't figure out who you were more passionate about. What, ha what ended up happening was you ended up, somebody got left out in a cold and or you didn't get a job offer. You have the five of pentacles. You got turned down for something. Turned away. You know, even though you were working, you have the eight of pentacles here, you were working extremely hard trying to figure this out and you kind of feel like you lost as a result. You know, and that could very well be why your next card would be separation. Time away from your partner is on the horizon. That could be why in the present moment you are separated from this and you're kind of reeling in it a little bit. Like you're like, I should have just made a choice. I should have just went for it and went all gusto and you chose not to, you know, or you couldn't make a choice. You're very indecisive about what you wanted. So, um, either you had two people that departed because you couldn't make a choice or you had a job opportunity end up hiring somebody else because you couldn't choose you know you waited too long so in your present situation you have the full in reverse at the top you have the full in reverse you have the knight of cups in the center of your reading so you're, you want to you want to offer somebody something and then you have the moon in reverse. So, I think what this is saying is because you didn't jump right into a relationship or you didn't jump right into a job offer and you waited, you know, you ended up getting left out in the cold from your past and now you're kind of having regret. So now here you are kind of like, oh, I should have done this. I should have done that. However, um, here you are. I should have offered somebody when I had the chance because now you're feeling alone. Look at he's kind of riding in there with his cup and he's like, oh, here it is. Here it is. And it's like too late. And then you end up finding out the truth. There is no secrets anymore. These people, whoever you were dealing with, whether it be a job, they were like, look, we ended up meeting somebody else. We ended up hiring somebody else. You know, all good is all good in the hood. So right now your present energy, 
like you're you're kind of bummed out about all this, you know, and you keep going over things, especially what you could have done differently, what you should have done differently, and what you can do differently in the future. But um, you have the high priestess in your future outcome in the top. So that's two major arcanas there. And then you have the moon as a major arcana. You have strength at the bottom as the outcome of your major arcana. Um, so right now, you're looking at doing, you know, calling in your soulmate. You're going inward and you're starting to heal those areas of your life that make you not be able to make a choice and become indecisive and eventually you lose when you can't do that so you know you've been praying about this as it says your prayers you're calling in your soulmate this is your future energy calling in your soulmate you're asking you know, your prayers, affirmations, and visualizations help bring this together. And this is what the high priestess is doing. This is what this is all about. This is going inward and calling things that are not manifested yet into being. You know, healing those areas of, you know, rejection, maybe. Or um, where you want to make the right choice and you, you're living in fear because... Uh, you're afraid of making the wrong choice instead of making a choice you end up losing it all so the high priestess is going to be giving you intuition from now on like you need to ground with the earth you need to this is what you need to do you need to ground this energy over the month of june of the high priestess ground that intuition and um uh just go with it and listen to your gut And you're going to see this happen. Um, also, in your future energy, here's the Four of Wands. You're going back and forth over this in your mind about what you could have had, what you've lost, and what you want. You want this. You want, you want this. You want the happy home, and you want victory, and you want you know, a soulmate connection, you want marriage, you want it all with the right person. And if you listen to your intuition, and the universe is listening to you, they're going to bring this in. You just need to have, you need to end this month with strength, knowing that um, the universe is listening to you. You know, your intuition is not going to mislead you. It's not gonna misguide you sometimes yes we do make wrong choices however it's how we handle them that you know we need to learn to not beat ourselves up over there's always we need to have the strength and the courage and um, the passion and the we need to walk in the ways we do need to be patient. Temperance with the emperor. This guy knows what he wants. This guy has his shit together. This guy can make a quick decision and he usually makes the right one. He listens to his intuition. He's not somebody who is like in and out. He's very steady and stable and if you're a man, this is where you need to get to. If you're a woman, this is where you need to get to. This is where you need to get to. And or you could be dealing with an Aries or a Sag. Fire sign. So, um, with temperance, with grounding that energy, being patient, listening to your intuition, and going for it is going to have huge payoffs. You will reap huge benefits if you can just get out of 
you know, a snail's pace and not make any choice, you need to make a choice. And like I said, for the end of the month, your outcome is strength. But you need to find this strength by going inward with the high priestess. You know, there's going to be a lot of healing here. You know, also another thing, you know, the moon card in reverse, everything's in the open. So, you know, since you have all of this stuff, and yeah, you've been hurt, obviously. You know, you know, you were hoping, you couldn't make a choice, you couldn't make a decision, and you just decided to not make a choice, and then, therefore, it was made for you. All right, let's clarify these. I usually pick two cards for each deck. We're already 21 minutes into this, so I don't know if I should just make another one. But this is for Cancer. Um, hmm. You want to know what? I don't think this really needs clarified. I think we're pretty good. I will give you guidance, though, from the Archangels deck, and I will read what they what our angels have to say and what angels you can call upon to be helping you through the month of June. Ooh, there's one. <laughs> there it is. You know what to do. That's what I was just saying. That your gut's not going to mislead you. Your intuition knows what you need. One more, please, for the sign of cancer for June 2018. Oh, there we go. Brilliant idea. Okay. Let me read what this says to you. I'm reading from Doreen Virtue's Archangel Oracle Cards. And the first one you got was, you know what to do. Archangel Uriel, trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. Act upon it without delay. What was I just saying? You were delaying with the two of wands. You didn't know which way to go and you ultimately got left out. You know what to do. You're going to know what to do now. Because... The High Priestess is going to give you that intuition that you need. So let me read what other this says about you know what to do. And it's Archangel Uriel. You know what to do. Throw my glasses here. Um, trust your inner knowledge and act upon it without delay. You are far wiser than you realize and your inner wisdom has already given you the answers that you seek. Embrace this knowledge and trust it. If you are doubtful, ask me and I will give you clear signs to validate your, your thoughts and ideas. I can also help you put into action and make decisions about the next step to take. Just ask me. And then, and then be willing to work with me by taking action. See, there was this, there was a lot of inaction here. You weren't rushing into nothing, and you ended up getting left out in the cold. And th you're still reeling in this. So, um, working with Archangel Uriel, Uriel helps in uh, to illuminate cloudy situations by lighting your pathway. He usually only lights up one step at a time. However, if you are not able to clearly discern the ultimate outcome of your actions but you will know what step to take next all along the way with Uriel's help. So if you are, if you go inward and you ground yourself, we just had a full moon in Sagittarius, so which was one of the more powerful full moons we've had with amazing energy, magical, mystical energy that, um, you know, I watch The Peace Dealer. I love Mike. He's amazing. He's an amazing channeler. And I've gotten a lot of, you know, confirmation from the things that were happening in my life because of his channel. So um, if you're on my channel, check out his. He's The Peace Dealer. Um, 
And then your second card that you got for your guidance is brilliant idea. So it kind of goes with you know what to do. You have a brilliant idea, buddy. Here we go. Okay. Yes, your idea is divinely guided. Please take action to bring your idea into fruition. And calling in your soulmate, if you know who your soulmate is, call them in. Speak that out. Your prayers and affirmations and visualizations help bring you together. So if you know who this person is, start speaking it out. Right now, like, things are magical happening. Either way, your idea is an answered prayer. Your prayers, affirmations are being heard. Even though it may push you past your comfort zone, know that God doesn't allow you anything you can't handle. Ask for and be willing to receive all the support that you need to bring the idea to fruition. Know that I'll be there along the way. And you can ask me for help anytime. I especially am glad uh, to give you ideas and creative insights to support your life's purpose. Working with Uriel again. So it's the same energy. Uriel's energy is pale yellow, like a candle glow. Whenever you need ideas or intellectual guidance, contact Uriel. His energy is aligned with the amber crystal. So if you want to get an amber crystal, I suggest that you do. I don't have one, and I probably should get one. But either way, those are your two, um, for this reading, those are your two um, guidance. Which is brilliant because it goes right along with your reading. You know, and it's, like I said, it's a general reading. Obviously, it's not going to resonate with everybody. But if you have been indecisive and you have not known what to do, or you waited too long and you lost somebody who you love, go inward and see, you know, call in your soulmate, pray about it, ask God and the universe for guidance and, you know, they'll show you what to do. They always do. They're great. They're wonderful. You know, talk, you know, our angels are here to help us. Our spirit guides are here to help us. So, well, Cancer, that is your reading. I didn't really have to do a whole lot of clarification for this one. It was pretty well straightforward. Um, and we're 27 minutes into this reading. So, um, I hope you enjoyed. And this is my first reading online. And like, subscribe, comment. Let me know if I'm on. It's always nice to hear from you. Um, regardless of anything. But, yes. Thank you so much. I hope you have a blessed day. And I will see you, Cancers, in about two weeks for mid-month. Have a great one. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.